I have a demonstration here of an LC resonance circuit. I have an inductor that's going to connect, get connected in series to a capacitor. I'm going to connect the inductor to a function generator that's going to be driven at very low frequencies and it's going to be set to give a square wave which will imitate the closing of a knife switch. So I'm going to take a banana to BNC adapter. I'm going to connect it to a T. I'm going to make sure the ground tab of the banana adapter is connected to the ground of the function generator. I'm going to take one output of the, of the T and I'm going to connect that to channel one of an oscilloscope. I'm going to take the other output of the T and I'm going to connect that to my series LC circuit. I'm going to make sure that I connect the inductor to ground and I'm going to connect the capacitor to the positive side of the square wave and then the connection between the inductor and the capacitor goes over to channel 2 of the oscilloscope. So now I'll turn on the function generator which defaults to a kilohertz and a, and a sine wave. I'm going to set it to a square wave instead of a sine wave and I'm going to drop the frequency down to 10 hertz. I'm going to set my amplitude somewhere about half, half amplitude or less. And now I'm going to turn on my oscilloscope and I'm going to use the square wave to trigger the oscilloscope on channel one. And channel two is connected to the resonant LC circuit and will show the ringing at resonance frequency. Here we go, let's turn the menu off. And there you can see in yellow, the square wave is open, the, is, the, is ground, and then it steps up to positive voltage there. And here's the response of the LC circuit ringing at resonance. I can change this value of C by adjusting this knob and change the resonant frequency, or I can change the value of L with this iron core and again change the value of the resonant frequency.